Hey everyone, in this video, I want to talk about the retirement, the deprecation of the classic Azure Service Manager roles. So if we take a step way, way back to ye dark ages, what we had was the Azure Service Manager. I'm gonna be lazy and just type Azure Manager once. So we had the Azure Service Manager. So we would talk about this as ASM. This was the control plane of Azure. And in this model, what we had is we created a subscription. So I absolutely could go and create a subscription. And then we think about roles, the permission to perform some set of actions. So within my subscription, now the person that created that subscription was granted the service administrator. Now this role, I can only have one of these per subscription. And what this really gives me is full permissions. I can do everything. Now I can change it. So if we hopped over to the portal, just for a second, and I go and look at the properties of my subscription, and we scroll down, we can see we have this service administrator down here that's currently loading, but within here, this would be my service admin, and you'll see at the top, you'll have this option to change it. So I can change the service admin from here, but I can't remove it. So now you can see it's popped up and it's showing me my current service admin. So there can be only one of those service administrators. But what if I want more people to be able to interact with my subscription? Well, what I could also do is I could add co-administrators. So I would go and add co-admins, and I could have N number, I could have multiple of those and I could add and remove them. Both of these have full permissions. There is no granularity here because I just had the Azure Service Manager, I put stuff in it, I could have one of these roles at the subscription level and that was it. So it had the same permissions as that service administrator. And once again, I could add and remove those if we jumped over to the portal again. This time we would go and look. Now obviously we're in the new modern control plane, but if I go to my access control, so I'm looking at access control, and then I'll see here my classic administrators. And it's even warning me about the hint of this video, retirement date. Well within here, I can go and see all my service admins and my co-administrators. Now you do have this option to add, but what we're gonna see is these custom, these classic, I actually can't add these anymore. And it's even telling me you won't be able to add these from April 3rd. So it's trying to set me up for success by saying, look, you, you can't add these things anymore. They are going away. So now if we fast forward to modern times, well, what we now have is we have the idea of the Azure Resource Manager. So it's still Azure, but we have the Resource Manager Control Plane. We call this ARM. Now we still have that construct, obviously, of a subscription, but that subscription can now live under a hierarchy of management groups. Within a subscription, we always have one or more resource groups into which I go and create my resources. And the whole point of this now is with the Azure Resource Manager, it's not only set at the subscription level, what we have now is this fantastic idea of role assignments. So a role assignment, remember, is yes, we have some role, and a role is made up of actions. 
Now I can also have not actions. I may have data actions if that's available at the data plane, but we have actions that make up the role. And then remember we're giving it to some identity and this would live in our Entra ID tenant. And so I take a role, I take a certain identity and I'm assigning it at a certain scope. And that is a role assignment. I'm taking a role, giving it to an identity or group. So it doesn't have to be a user. Ideally in most things, what we try and do is put users and identities into groups and grant the, gro the group the role. And this is the key point of what we're doing here because it's granular. We want to think least privilege. What are the minimum actions I need at the smallest scope? I don't need it maybe at some high management group or a subscription. More often it's gonna be, hey, at a certain resource group, I need these particular roles. And that's really what we want to do. Now, I may also combine this with things like PIM, but we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. Okay, so what, what's happening? What's the challenge with this? Well, what's happening is the idea that these Azure Service Manager, well, a long time ago, it was communicated that this is deprecated. I.e. retired, I.e. going away, I.e. not gonna be supported anymore. Which also means these are deprecated. So service admins, going away. Co-admins, going away. The one thing I will point out though, is what you do also have is the classic admin. Now the, sorry, the account admin. The account admin, this is for billing purposes. The account admin is not being deprecated. So service admin, co-admins, they're going away. We need to get rid of them, replace permissions with other things. But the account admin, that's strictly for billing purposes, that is not going away. So we don't have to worry about that. So what is the, the timing of these activities? Well, we kind of already saw it in the portal. So from the 3rd of April, go onwards, there were no new co-admins. So it's getting me ready, I can't create any more, I can't make it worse than I already have. And then from the 31st of August, and all of these are 2024, they're actually gonna start removing. So this is gonna be the removal start. So if you have not already removed the co-administrators, if you have not already um, taken care of those service admin on the description, they're gonna start doing it for you. So what should we be doing right now? So we had this idea of the service admin and these co-admins, they have full permission to do anything. Now, on the Azure side, with the Azure Resource Manager, the equivalent of full permission, permission on everything, change all the permissions would be owner. So you might say, well, okay, I'm just gonna go and give everyone owner on the Azure side. We should not do that. Take this opportunity to say, well, what are they actually doing? The role they're performing at the scope they're performing, what is the correct set of permissions? So take this opportunity, this is all we could do. So we, we couldn't be any better. Now we can be better. What are the actual permissions, the actions they need that are in a role at the scope? It may not need subscription level. It could be at a certain resource group level we need. So ascertain what is the actual role needed at the required scope. And if it is a higher set of permissions, use PIM. Let's think about getting that least possible privilege. Now, an important point here though, 
So these are going away. These service admin and the co-admins are going away. So the thing I must, must do before that retirement, so key action, you must, must have at least one owner per sub. Because otherwise, when these go away, if this was your only way of doing that subscription level permissions and all the resources, when these get removed for you, you're going to be stuck. Now, I say you're going to be stuck. There are workarounds to things you can do. If I'm a global admin in the tenant that the subscription trusts, I can go and elevate myself up and I get a user access administrator role. I can essentially take ownership and I can grant permissions you could raise a support ticket, but you don't want to get to that. So go and make sure you do have at least one owner for every subscription uh, within your organization. And then once I'm sure I'm in a good place, once I've gone and worked out what roles people actually need, start removing. It may be you have co-admins that don't need anything. We'll just remove them. Give them the role they actually need and then just go and start deleting them. So if we jump over from here in the classic administrators, and again, it's telling me, hey, look, this is going away. I could just bin them with the little delete icon, but it is also trying to help me by giving me this assign RBAC role. So if I click that, what it will do is basically ask me and walk me through, what role do you wanna give them? And then it will go and remove it. Or again, I could just be like, hey, I'm gonna delete that one. Yes, remove. Can I delete my service admin? Remove. So I'm just gonna go through and tidy all of this up because I don't want those classic admins anymore. And I am now in a nice, healthy state. Now, one slightly embarrassing thing. If you create a brand new subscription today, it still adds a service admin. It's part of the commerce system. It's a historical thing that is gonna stop, I think within the next couple of months before they start removing them. Don't be alarmed, just ignore it. It's gonna go away automatically anyway. But it, yes, if you create a new sub, it's still gonna go and add that thing. If you're not sure of exactly well, where am I using maybe some of those classic roles, and I'll put this in the video description. If we do fire up the Azure Resource Graph, which was, remember, our friend to everything we ever do. So this little script here, all it's doing is I'm looking for a classic administrator role. I'm parsing the JSON. I'm making sure it's enabled, and I'm looking if the role includes service administrator or co-administrator, because there could be multiple ones that are common, so I can't just say equal, and then I'm just summarizing it, so I can see how many I have. So if I run that, I can see, okay, I've got one account admin and service admin. It's the service admin I care about. Remember, account administrator is not going away. I can see, yeah, I've got one of those in each of those other subscriptions, but the one I just cleaned up doesn't show me any. So I'm in a pretty nice position there. So that's just a really easy, quick way to go and check exactly where I am. And that was it. So I hope this is useful. It's nothing shocking. Just realize the old control plane that's been deprecated and hey, we should get off of this for years. Those roles are going away soon. So what I should be doing is if I have people with those roles, work out what role they actually need at what scope they actually need. Once you've right permissioned that, hey, just go and delete those, making sure I have at least one owner at every subscription, and then I'll be in a great place. As always, I hope that was useful. Till next video, take care.